The biggest unmet need in amyloidosis is uh, to reduce the early deaths. We have seen, and our colleagues at the Mayo Clinic have also reported, that between 20 and 30 percent of patients with newly diagnosed amyloidosis die within the first six months of diagnosis. And over the last 30 years, this number is completely unchanged. Even with all of the modern therapies I've talked about, the 20 to 30 percent early deaths are still persistent. And we really don't know how to treat this patient best, and it's probably because their hearts or their kidneys are so badly damaged by the amyloid deposits that our current therapies just don't have enough time to work for the patient to survive. We hope that these newer therapies, particularly the therapies which can remove amyloid proteins, may completely transform these, the life of these patients. So if you can remove the protein deposits from a very badly damaged heart, the assumption is that the heart function will recover quite quickly and we might be able to reduce this mortality. That's the biggest unmet need. The second um, unmet need is to deliver therapies with limited toxicity. For all the treatments we give to amyloidosis, all the chemotherapies we give amyloid patients, they have very severe toxicities compared to myeloma patients. On an average, the grade three or greater adverse events are seen in maybe three quarters of all patients in amyloidosis with Velcade-based treatments, compared to maybe less than 20% of myeloma patients. And having drugs like daratumumab, which have reduced toxicity, may help to change that. And the final uh, unmet need in amyloidosis is diagnosis. It's a difficult disease to diagnose. It presents with very simple symptoms like fatigue, swelling of the feet, proteinuria, and uh, the awareness of the disease isn't there. So family physicians or even consultants who see these patients don't think about amyloidosis until they have ticked all the boxes on their uh, flow chart and amyloidosis is at the end of the list. So these patients, by the time the diagnosis is made, have advanced organ dysfunction. And one of our biggest challenges is to educate the medical community to think about amyloid early when they start seeing patients with a multi-system disease.